Hey everyone, my name is Ashton August with yogiapproved.com and today I'm here to bring you a yoga class for stress relief. This practice is perfect any time that you've had an accumulation of stress build up and you are ready to let it go. You can take it in the evening when you get home from work and you'll also notice after you take this class that it's a really feel good practice, so feel free to bookmark it and come back anytime you'd like. When you're ready, all you need is a yoga mat, so I'll meet you there and we'll get started. Right. For our practice today, we will begin in a child's pose, balasana. So meet me there when you're ready. But we'll bring our big toes to touch, spread the knees apart, and if you have any sensitivity in the knees or tightness in the legs, you can always put a folded blanket between your thighs and calf. Now from there, we'll slide the arms forward and gently relax into our child's pose. Take a few breaths as you arrive to get comfortable, to make any little adjustments through your body. Noticing if your hips are tight, you can bring your knees slightly closer together. If you're looking for more of a hip opener and it feels good to take the knees a little bit wider, you can try that also. <sighs> now, as you settle in, begin to find a conscious breath. So just begin to focus on your inhales through your nose. And your exhales out your mouth. <sighs> Nice audible sigh. Take a few more just like that. One more deep and full, biggest breath yet. From here, we'll seal the lips. We'll begin breathing in and out through the nose and activating Samavriti Pranayama. This is a very simple form of pranayama breathing where we inhale for a count, hold at the top, and exhale for a count. We will begin with a count of five in, we'll hold for two, and we'll exhale for seven. So I'll guide you through the first round. Here we go with an inhale, breathe in through the nose for one, two, three, four, five. Hold at the top for one, two, and exhaling for seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go again. Really fill the lungs. Take the full five counts. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and hold at the top for one, two. Exhale fully, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And push out the air for one. Continuing on your own now, inhaling for five, Holding at the top for two, and exhaling fully for seven. Moving at your own pace, you can keep that count, or if you're noticing that your lungs are gaining capacity, you can begin breathing in for a count of six, and breathing out for a count of eight. A few more rounds on your own. Good. And once you've finished your next round, no rush, finish up where you were. And come back to a normal state of deep inhalations and exhalations on your own. Good. Beginning to notice any shifts that may have occurred. Ideally, that focus on the breath has helped you get a little more grounded. Now with your next inhale, slowly lift your gaze and then slowly walk your hands in <sighs> to meet your body. We'll gently cross the ankles coming on to the seat <sighs> and I'll just turn to face you as we move through a little seated warm up now. So, as you arrive, get a nice comfortable seat. You can sit cross legged or kneeling if that feels better, even a half or full lotus if it's part of your practice. 
Now with your inhale breath, let's gather our arms up overhead, send your gaze up to meet your hands. And exhale, hands through heart. Twice more, inhale, deep and full. Exhale through. Inhale. And exhale, this time pausing with your hands to your heart. <sighs> Good. We'll bring the right hand to the outside of the body, taking your left arm up and over. Deep breath in. And out. <sighs> inhale, guide you up. Exhale, up and over, side two. Starting off nice and gentle with your side body stretch. Breath in and out here. And inhale, we come up. Let's move side to side. Good, using your exhales to reach and stretch, your inhales to rise, keeping a slight engagement through your core to protect your low back and keep your movements controlled. Mm. One more time each side. And the next time that your right hand is down, I'll meet you there. Let's hold for a breath. Now with your next breath, we'll come up through center. And now we're gonna take a spinal twist. So we're gonna bring right hand to left knee, left hand plants behind you. Grow nice and tall, deep breath in. And exhale from your heart center, we will twist. Good, take another deep breath in, lengthen up through your spine. And with your exhale, option to twist a little deeper if you'd like. One more breath here. Good. Nice job. Inhale, we're gonna unwind. We're gonna keep the right hand where it is, taking your left arm up and overhead, finding the opposite knee, and then pulling from the outsides of your knees, finding a rounding through your spine. Deep inhale, exhale here. Very nice. Inhale, we'll lift through center, left hand staying where it is, right arm unwinding, and then that palm planting directly behind you, growing nice and tall, inhale breath. Finding your heart center, from the exhale, we twist through that heart space. Take another deep breath in, grow taller. Option to twist a little deeper on the exhale. Staying here for one more breath. Good, and same exit. So our right hand comes back to the left knee. One more time, rounding into the spine. Good, and inhale, we'll slowly come up, shake your arms out, and let's head to the top of the mat for plank pose. So we're gonna plant our palms and step the feet back into plank position. So as you step up and back, begin to look down at your palms. Spread your fingers wide and grip the mat actively with each finger. Engage through the arms, press into your shoulders, press down and out through your heels and engage your core now, scooping your pelvis forward. You can always modify plank by dropping one knee down at any time, but we're gonna hold here for two deep inhales and exhales, beginning to build some heat in the core, beginning to really activate our power here. Good. And from here, we'll press the hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet here, taking any organic movement that feels good in your body. Maybe you wanna bend deeply into one knee as you straighten into the opposite leg and vice versa. Just bringing some warmth into your lower body here. Good. Noticing if you're trying to Look forward with your head, maybe shake your head, yes. <sighs> yes, we made it to our mat today. And then shake your head, no, let something go. Good. <sighs> with your next breath, let's lift high onto the balls of both feet. And then exhale, <sighs> press your heels down. Good, two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale. And exhale, lower. With your next breath, look forward and shift forward back into plank position. Now you should be able to move between the two poses without moving your hands or feet. So making any adjustments that you need to here. And now we're gonna flow with our breath. So engage your core, inhale, lift up and back, downward facing dog. <sighs> exhale it out, good. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale here. Inhale, lift up and back. 
Stay for the exhale. Two more times, all the way through. A full breath in and out in each position. Good, inhale. Ah, very nice. Meeting me in downward facing dog as you've finished your little flow. We're gonna step our feet out wide to the edges of the mat now. Little wide leg down dog stance, good. A micro bend into your knees, see if you can press your heart back towards your thighs. Ah, good, now with your next inhale, we're gonna shift forward to a wide leg plank and then lower down through a nice and slow chaturanga. Awesome, releasing to the top of the feet pressing your hip bones into the mat. We're gonna lift for a baby wide leg cobra. Good, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Holding at the top, take another deep breath in. <sighs> Good, and exhale slowly lower. With your inhale, press into your palms, find another baby cobra. Maybe lifting a little higher this time. Elbows are still bent here. And with your next exhale, slowly lower. One more time, here we go. With your inhale, press into your palms, baby cobra, pressing a little higher, or option to straighten more into your arms if that's feeling okay. I'm gonna hold my mid-level cobra here, Bhujangasana. Good, slowly lower one more time. Bringing the hands beneath your forehead, relax your forehead down. We're just gonna bend our knees and gently windshield wiper the feet left to right. Deep inhale, exhale. <sighs> Good. Now with your next breath, slowly come back through center, relax the knees and the feet back down to the mat. Good. We'll slide the palms back beneath our shoulders, taking one more round of our cobra rolls. So with your inhale, find that little baby cobra. Bending the elbows, hugging them into the side body, squeezing your shoulder blades together. And exhaling to lower down. Good, inhale to lift baby cobra, or maybe lifting a little higher this time. By keeping our feet wider, we're taking any pressure off the low back, keeping our practice a little gentle today. Exhale to lower down. And last time, here we go, inhale, lift. Shine your heart powerfully forward. And slowly lower, exhale. This time we'll plant our palms, tuck our toes, pressing up and back into downward facing dog. Taking a deep inhale and an open mouth. Ah, sigh it out. Let's go for one more of those deep inhale breath. Open mouth. Ah, very nice. We're just gonna stay here in our down dog. Two more rounds of breathing. Okay, now with your next breath, we're gonna look forward and take little baby steps all the way forward, bending your knees as much as you need to and arriving in a forward fold, feet hip width distance apart, knees still bent at the top of your mat. Nice, gentle fold, let your head hang heavy. Another few rounds of breathing here. Good, and with your next breath, we'll straighten the legs and we'll slowly begin to roll all the way up to standing. Ah, take your arms up overhead, inhale, breath, and exhale, hands through heart. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise. And this time, hands coming all the way through to the hips. Now we're going to take a nice big four foot step back with our right foot, coming into a warrior two stance. So I'm going to bend my front knee, stacking it ultimately maybe over the heel or ankle, but never beyond it. You can always back out as much as you need to. I'm going to press my body weight down through the outer blade of my back right foot, finding my firm foundation. When you're ready, extend your arms powerfully out wide and send your gaze over your front left fingertips. Let's take a deep breath. 
And a deep exhale to settle into the pose. Good. Take a look down at your front knee. Gently press it towards the outer blade of your front left foot. Good. Feel the leg active and engaged. A very gentle scoop in your pelvis, ever so slightly to keep the core engaged, to keep your hips opening. And we're still pressing and sending energy down and out through the back right leg. Arms are powerfully and actively engaged here. Take another deep inhale, exhale. Good. Now we're going to flow with our breath. So send your palms up towards the sky. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, send it right back into your warrior two stance. Here we go. Inhale, up and rise. Exhale, palms down, press down, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Twice more. And we'll settle back into our warrior two. Finding your power here, grounding down into your presence. When we can remain present, it's a little easier to let the stress go. Good. With your next breath, we're gonna send our palms up, this time coming into star pose. Palms and all 10 toes facing forward. Now from here, I want you to try interlacing your hands behind your back. We're going to send our collective fist downward as we lengthen the heart skyward. And then with an exhale, hinging from our hips, micro bending into your knees and folding forward, allowing our arms to hang up and overhead. Now, if this is too much on your shoulders, you can allow your palms to open away from each other. And if it's still too much, you want a different variation today, you can relax your hands down to the ankles, grasping onto your big toes, or maybe even walking your hands out in front of you. So find that position that works for you. I offer the interlaced fingers because this is a nice chest and heart opener. This is also a nice way to remove some tension and tightness in the shoulders. Good. Let your head hang nice and heavy, enjoying all the benefits of an inversion. When we bring the head below the heart, we're increasing the blood supply to the brain, releasing endorphins, which are feel-good brain chemicals that help combat stress and anxiety, bringing somewhat of an opposite effect from cortisol, the stress hormone that gets released in our bodies when we're stressed out or have anxiety. We got one more breath here. Good. Now from here, let's all release the hands down beneath our shoulders and take a nice inhale for a halfway lift. With your exhale, we're just gonna bend one time into the right knee. Use your inhale to come through center. And with your exhale, bend left knee. Deep inhale breath. One more. Good, and change. Coming back through center, we'll guide our hands to our hips now. Engage your core and lift all the way up with a nice flat back. At the top, our back right toes are going to turn out now. Warrior two, side two. Bending into your back right knee, which is now your front right knee. Again, you can stack it up over the heel or ankle or behind it. When you're ready, extend your arms out wide and powerfully. Send your gaze over your front right fingertips and settle into the pose. Breathe through the challenge. Keep your mind focused on the breath to anchor yourself to the present moment. Just connect to your power here. Take one more deep inhale, exhale. Good, and now you know what's coming. We're gonna flip our palms up and take an inhale breath. This time we straighten the legs and the gaze up. And exhale, settle back into warrior two. Here we go, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. 
twice more through. And hold back in your warrior two. When we can focus on our breathing, we are activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the system responsible for resting and digesting in the body. In other words, what helps us remove ourselves from that stressful state. So with your next breath, we're gonna inhale our arms up overhead, coming in through star pose to goddess, bringing your heels in, toes out, sinking down low, hands to your hips. Now it might feel good to move a little bit side to side and work into your hips a bit. Just as we checked in on our warrior, check out your knees now and make sure they're gently pressing outward and not caving inward. Okay, and now we're gonna take ourselves through a little breath to motion flow. So bringing your hands inside your body, take a deep inhale. And with your exhale, press. Good, inhale, pull. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale. Now, with your inhale, rise. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale, on your own. Feel like you're taking all your power in and then sending it right back out, creating a shield around you. A few more times through. Good, last time. And we're gonna meet where we started. Goddess pose, hands to your hips. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Good, final thing here, we're gonna bring our palms to our thighs. We're going to allow ourselves to sink down low and find a straightening through the arms. Relax your shoulders down, take a deep inhale. And with your exhale, arms remaining straight as you gently twist right shoulder towards left knee. Good, finding that twist through the center part of your spine or the thoracic spine. With your inhale, slowly come up through the center. Exhale, opposite side. Good, slowly we'll come back through center. Hands to your hips and we're gonna straighten into the legs. Pivoting all 10 toes to face the front of your mat. Step your back foot up to meet the front and let's shake our legs out. Good, shake your arms out. Ha, <sighs> good. Okay, now coming back through center, we're going to end our standing series with Garudasana, Eagle Pose. So we are going to inhale the arms up overhead, palms touching, and then send your right arm underneath the left. Now I'll turn to face you, you can stay where you are. You can cross at elbows and then grasp opposite shoulders if that feels good today. Otherwise, if it's available, try for opposite palms. Wherever you are, sink down nice and low. We're going to lift the right heel and then engage your core, scoop your pelvis forward, lift your right knee and send it up and over the left. Now, you can give yourself a kickstand for balance today. If you wanna try to wrap, then you're going to send your right foot in the direction of the left calf, maybe finding the back of that calf. Good. Now from here, sink down low. Notice all the joints in your body and align them down the center seam of your body, which might mean that you need to send your knees a little bit to the right and your elbows a little bit to the left. Squeeze everything as tightly as you can together. Sink down a little lower. This pose is so nourishing for the joints. It creates a wonderful feel-good effect after we leave the pose, and it's also great for relieving stress. Take another inhale, exhale with me here. Good. With your inhale, we're going to slowly unwind. Unwind it all. Take your arms up overhead, deep and full. Gentle cactus arm back bend here, just lifting through your heart. Legs remain straight, hips pressing gently forward. And slowly come up through center, arms up overhead, opposite side. Here we go, left elbow underneath the right. Shoulders or for opposite wrists. 
Sink down nice and low. Left heel lifts. Engage the core. Left knee lifts up and over. Here we go. Find your placement through the legs. Squeeze everything tightly together as you align the joints now down the center of the body. Knees might need to go slightly left and elbows slightly right. Good. Relax your shoulders. Squeeze tightly. Maybe sinking down a little lower here for three. Two. And one. So good. With your inhale breath unwind, take it all up overhead. And exhale, relax your arms down by the side. Shake it out one more time. Ha! <laughs> good. Okay. Now, with your inhale breath, take your arms up overhead. And this time, swan dive. Forward fold. Ha! <sighs> Find a halfway lift. Hands to shins or thighs. Get a nice flat back. And this time, fold, planting your palms, bending into your knees, and we're going to lift our heels as we round our foreheads in towards our knees like a little roly-poly. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. And then with your next breath, you can slowly look forward as we come onto the seat. <sighs> and extend the legs out in front of us. Flexing your toes back towards your face, take your arms up overhead, inhale, breath. And exhale, hinge and fold. <sighs> Keeping a flat back to start and your heart towards your toes, just grab whatever's available for you today. Might be shins, ankles, feet, or toes. Take another deep inhale breath. And then option to stay here or with your exhale, you can round and hinge, letting the head hang heavy. Notice what feels better in your body. Good. Stay here for a few more deep, full breaths in and out. Good. All right. Now we're going to slowly round ourselves back to seated. <sighs> we're going to bend the knees, plant the feet. We're going to slowly lie onto the back, scooting your booty up a little bit closer towards your heels. Good. <sighs> now, as you lower onto your back, bring your heels in close enough to your body that you can touch them with your fingertips. All right. Forearms and palms are planted down by your sides. Your feet are about hip width distance apart. And with your inhale breath, press your body weight down through your heels to slowly lift your hips up nice and high. Now, I like to make a fist beneath my seat so I can press my fist and the outer blades of my shoulders into the mat. Good. Now wherever you are, engage through your glutes. Keep active through your legs here. Feel as if you have a resistance band around your thighs so your legs are strong and engaged. Gaze stays on the ceiling. Take a few more breaths. Good. Okay. With your next breath, release the fist if you have it, coming back to planting forearms and palms by your sides. On your exhale, lower down so slow, one vertebra at a time, coming all the way down until your tailbone touches. We're going to let the knees cave in to meet at the center, heel toe the feet a little bit wider, and just breathe here. Good. Okay. Now as you're ready, we're going to gently bring our knees into our chest and give ourselves a great big hug. Keep your feet uncrossed. Relax them and then wrap your forearms around your outer shins, clasping opposite fingers, wrists, or maybe even elbows. Take a deep inhale with me. Exhale, squeeze your legs gently into your body. Good, one more. Nice. 
Okay. Bring your palms to the outsides of your kneecaps, and we're just going to gently draw some circles with your knees on the ceiling. You can switch directions, find any of those little pressure points around the low spine. You can massage those out if that feels good, or if you do find any hot spots, any areas of sensitivity, or feels good to bring a little pressure to. <sighs> okay. Now, preparing for our final Shavasana, I am going to offer legs up the wall as your Shavasana today. Now this is your time to pause the video and you can move your mat up against a wall or you can take it in the center of the room like me and I'll show you how. If you're going to do this up against a wall, you'll scoot one hip up against the wall and then slide your legs up so that the back of your legs, your thighs and your calves are up against the wall. Now, if you're doing this in the center of the room with me, you can simply stack ankles over knees over hips and your legs will be able to stay here relatively still. And of course, if you prefer a traditional Shavasana, you go ahead and take that now. Maybe even make a supported Shavasana by bringing a pillow beneath your knees. You got options. It's your practice. You got to feel and do what's right in your body. But the reason that I invite you to try legs up the wall today is this is one of the most effective poses for stress relief. We are reversing the blood flow from the extremities of the body into the center of the body. We are helping to calm both mind and body. And this is a nice pose that you can take for a minute, five minutes, or even longer. So I really encourage you to try this posture at some point, whether that's today or another time when you revisit the video. Now, wherever you are, I also invite you to guide a hand to the heart and a hand to the stomach. And just begin to slow it all down. Nice, gentle breath. A softening and a sense of calm throughout your entire body. Our gentle breathing and a softness that replaces any tension are both signals we're sending to the brain that it's okay to relax, that we are ready to release the stress, and that we are open to resetting both mind and body. Now, if you would like to remain in your Shavasana longer, I encourage you to do so. You're welcome to pause the video. If and when you're ready to get out of it, if you're in legs up the wall in the center of the room, simply bend your knees back into your chest. And if you're doing that against the wall, you'll bend your knees and then you'll gently roll onto one hip, onto your side. Good. Now, everyone in Shavasana, let's meet with our knees pulled into our chest, giving ourselves one last great big hug. And then when you're ready, you can bring the right arm up overhead as we gently roll onto our right side. Your gaze is soft or your eyes can remain closed. And with your next breath, and gently use our free left hand to press ourselves up to seated. Finding a nice, comfortable seat once more. Taking one last breath, guiding your arms up overhead. And then gently bringing hands to heart center as you bow in honor of your practice and in honor of yourself for making time for you today. It is always such an honor for me to guide you through your practice. Thank you and namaste.